This video is about kind of what it means to lift and lower weights as a basketball player. Specifically, it's about the clean and jerk and um, the front squat. But, uh, disclaimer, I'll say that I am not an expert on this. Um, and I don't want anyone getting hurt. So if you want to get into front squats and clean and jerks, you should use additional resources beyond mine. As I don't want anyone getting hurt. I'm trying very hard to not hurt myself. So um, I use very light weights and I work on my form and my ability to basically my form. I just don't really want to get hurt right now. So it's not really the best form and it's getting better. So I'm trying front squats and I'm trying back squats. So um, first thing I'll say is as a basketball player, why do we lift? Why do we lower? Um, to be, get stronger and get more explosive and uh, specifically get better at specific moves. The squat is our ability to lower our center of gravity. If we get better at lowering our center of gravity or decelerating our impacts or lowering so that we can explode upwards, then we're going to be better basketball players. If we um, practice the clean and jerk, we practice our ability to move a weight over our head or jump a weight over our head, which will get us good at jumping. Um, so this is how we work out as athletes. We don't work out our biceps or our triceps or our quads. We don't focus on particular muscle groups because there's no reason to focus on particular muscle groups. Um, we want to focus on particular movements. We want to be good at functional movements. We don't, I don't care if my, an athlete should not care if their traps are small or whatever. It's irrelevant um, if that athlete can functionally move well. So that's what this is all about. As for squats and all this, <coughs> I'll try, I'll try to get, not get too much into technique here. Main thing is I'm trying to get my knees as wide as I possibly can keep my back straight, etc. I mean, uh, again, I'm not an expert, so but I'll tell you some of the cues. Uh, I want my core and my glutes and, and my butt and everything to be totally flexed before I get into doing this. Um, you saw me at the beginning doing no weight and kind of stretching around in the bottom position, and that's just to get comfortable down there. Um, and the front squat is really important as it's our ability to decelerate loads and if I want to get good at cleaning and jerking this clean and then the jerk that's what that is which is the ability to move something over your head I need the ability to front squat because when I decelerate the bar on the clean getting it up to my shoulder level I need to be able to slow it down um, and the best way to slow it down is via uh, is via a squat basically so that's why I start with the squat, start with light weight, start with the bar. I mean, my friend Mark, who you may have seen me training with. There we go. Um, he is <coughs> a beast and does 300 pounds easy. I wouldn't say easy, but no pain, no injury. Um, so I'm working on getting better at this. Various things. I'm using a, a hook grip. And then I, I, it's just hard for me to like talk too much about specific cues as I somewhat know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to be good at naturally moving the bar, uh, the weight from the ground to over my head, using the body in the way it's intended to be used, which is um, keeping the knees out as much as I can. Anytime you see the knees go in, it's a problem. Um, I want to keep my core straight. Anytime you see my back overextending it's a problem and so forth um it's hard for me to recommend you start without someone training with you but i realize most of you guys don't have access to that but you do have access to youtube tutorials so you should check that out but i'll tell you that this exercise is incredibly good for jumping now um it's something i've been doing basically an exercise like this with dumbbells, but I'm starting it with barbells so I can add more weight. Um, just doing 95, 75 or 95. Yeah, that's what it looks like with weight. Trying to, am I, yeah, trying to keep my knees out. 
I'm seeing a little bit of valgus knee, which is where my knee's going, which is a problem. But since I'm recording it, <coughs> I can identify that, and that should help me um, uh, minimize that in the future. But yeah, um, as far as cues go, and like how you should rotate your body, uh, and so forth, if you want to get into this, I, you should definitely just get on YouTube and look around. I will say that I'm internally rotating the bar, so I'm like moving my arms in towards my body, trying to roll my shoulders back somewhat, trying to catch it, decelerate as much as I can um, with that, and then jump it overhead. But that's basically what it's all about. Highly, highly, highly recommend this exercise, but I highly, highly, highly recommend starting with very, very small weights practicing the motion with or without weight and uh, looking at some other resources too but this will get you jumping out of the gym and it'll get, get you landing softly so this is how we lift and lower as basketball players and this is